In this lesson, I will explain to you the concept of biased and unbiased samples. So first I will explain the definition. A sample is a biased sample if some people or items are more likely to be chosen than others. One more time I will explain the definition of a biased sample. A sample is a biased sample if some people or items are more likely to be chosen than others. On the other hand, a sample is an unbiased sample if every individual or the element in the population has an equal chance of being selected. Now I will explain with the help of few examples the concept of biased and unbiased samples. In this example, suppose Carla examined three random lessons from each textbook for her class. Each textbook has an equal number of lessons. Suppose she picks three lessons from physics, three lessons from chemistry, three lessons from maths, and each textbook has equal number of lessons. Suppose in each book there are 10 lessons and she examined three lessons from each book. In this sample of the lessons in the class's textbooks likely to be biased? So the answer is no. This is not biased, right? So what is the logic? What is the reason? If you say no or yes, there should be some reason. So the reason is since Carla divided the lessons into equal size group by textbook and then chose an equal number of lessons. She, she chooses three lessons, random lessons from each book. So it is not a biased sample. In this example, suppose Jenna put the names of all the pets at the pound into a box. So see, you have to be careful here. All the names of the pet. And then she drew six names out of the box. So this, is, this sample is biased or unbiased. So again, our answer is no. Right? It is not biased. Why? Since every name had an equal chance of being drawn from the box, it is not a biased sample, right? Because she has put all the names. Another example is, suppose Ruth surveyed the 156 employees at the companies who worked in sales. So see, here is the catch. She has surveyed 156 employees who only work in the sales department. In this sample of the employees at the company in general likely to be biased, the answer is yes, this is the biased decision. Why? Because since the sales employees might not be similar to the other employees, it is likely to be a biased sample because maybe in the company there are finance department, there is a marketing department or other department and she picked only the sales department. So this is the bias decision. Riley, Larry pulled 35 parents living throughout each county in his estate. Each county is the same size. See, same. So this is the biased or unbiased and we, this is no, right? What is the reason since Larry divided the parents into equal size group by county and then chose an equal number of parents from each county, 35 parents from each county, right? So this is not a by sample. Here is another example. Suppose Pinky surveyed three food critics dining at the new restaurant. In this sample of the dinners, at the new restaurant likely to be biased and the answer is yes this time yes right and what is the reason since the food critics might not be similar to the other dinners it is likely to be biased sample so in this lesson you have learned the concept of biased and unbiased samples if you have any question please write down on the comment section and i will try my best to answer it and please do not forget to subscribe my YouTube channel, Sci My Academy, and thanks for watching it.